how to trademark a name or a logo for free. According to Google, this is one of the most commonly asked questions about trademarks. I'm Andre Mink of the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm going to answer this question once and for good. Get it trademarked with Trademark Factory. Short answer, ain't gonna happen. It's impossible. You can't file your trademark for free. At the very least, you will be paying the government fees, the government filing fees. And those range anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars, depending on the country where you're filing them and the number of goods and services that your trademark application is gonna cover. So there is no such thing as filing a trademark for free. Not gonna happen. So going back to the government fees, the very least you will ever pay, for example, in the US is $225. And that assumes that you're filing your trademark in one class only, that assumes that your trademark is already in use at the time of the filing, and that assumes that you're picking your goods and services from the predefined list. So that's the bare minimum, $225. Uh, and uh, if you're not sure what classes are or what uh, use versus intent to use means, check out this channel. I've posted a lot of those videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now to find out more. We're about to launch a whole new series about classes where I'm going to go through specific classes. But let's go back to trademarking your brand for free. So we got this out of the way. Can't do it. You are going to be paying the government fees. What are the options beyond that? So the cheapest way to file your trademark, of course, again, you are going to pay the government fees. No matter what, the government is going to take their cut. The cheapest way to do it is to file it yourself. This really brings up two questions. Can you do this legally? And is that a good idea to do it? So let's start with whether it's legal for someone to file their own trademark application. The general rule is yes, although some countries limit the ability of self-represented uh, brand owners to file their own trademarks. So for example, the new rule in the US right now is that unless you're an American citizen, American resident, or a company that has domicile in the US, you need to have a US licensed attorney to file your trademark. They don't allow foreign applicants to deal directly with USPTO. That's the new rule that's enforced since August of 2019. So uh, if you're not an American citizen, you're not an American resident, and you wanna file a US trademark, you can't do it by yourself, period. It's illegal. Uh, they're going to ignore your trademark application. Well, they're gonna send you an office action and say that you have to be represented by a US licensed attorney. Uh, but even if you can, in theory, file a trademark application yourself, if you're allowed, if it's legal for you to file a trademark application yourself, the question is, is that a good idea? And uh, my answer to that is absolutely not. Unless you filed dozens of trademark applications and you know all the ins and outs, unless you're willing to spend hundreds of hours reading textbooks about how to file your trademark right, uh, what, are the, what are the potential dangers, what are the uh, hidden, uh, hidden things that most people don't know about, it's not a good idea to file your trademark on your own. I mean, look, of course you can file a trademark if it doesn't go through, all you're risking is just the government fee, right? No, because what you're really risking is the time that you're gonna waste hoping for that trademark to go through. Uh, a trademark process on average is about 14 months in the US, about 18 months in Canada, probably more now in Canada. Uh, and uh, 
If you want to risk that, that time during which you're thinking you own a brand and then at the end of the day you realize, whoops, I don't have it and you have to start everything again. So you're probably not really saving anything by doing it yourself. Not a good idea unless, again, you know for sure uh, what you're doing or unless you don't really care about the results. You just file your trademark and hope that it sticks. And some of them would stick, but very small percentage. Um, so the next step up is, if you don't want to do it yourself, is to use one of those uh, online trademarking websites that offer to file your trademark for next to nothing, right? Some of them would even do it for less than a hundred bucks. Uh, and what they really are is, uh, they're either a lead generation machine for law firms, that lure you in with low filing fees so they, that they can make more money from you when the application they file will inevitably receive an office action and that's when they start charging you by the hour. This is how your $69 trademark application becomes a $6,900 file. And we've seen many of those horror stories. Uh, and... Uh, or uh, it's just the software. They say we're not a law firm. We're just a software that facilitates the filing of your application. The application is filed in the name of the applicant themselves. And uh, if there's an office action, then the, the applicant needs to figure out how to fight it on their own. So uh, is that a better option than filing yourself? Yes, because even if it's software, the software is optimized to deal with uh, the inefficiencies of the government websites. Because if you look at, for example, USPTO's website or CEPO's website, uh, when you file your trademark application, it looks like they've been designed specifically to discourage people from filing their own trademark applications. They have so many little things that are poorly designed poorly explained. So if you're not really sure what you're doing, you're probably going to do it wrong. So the software, uh, the third party software websites that are out there make the filing process much simpler. So better to use them than to use nothing. But again, it doesn't really solve the problem if you're serious about wanting to protect your brand and having an idea uh, of a certainty of results. Now, from there, you can find a lawyer, maybe local attorney or a law firm or somebody who's going to uh, file your trademark. You can, you know, do the price shopping and find somebody who's going to do it at a lower rate. Maybe they've got less experience. Maybe uh, they, they have uh, a different model, but basically you can play around on the market and look for who's going to file your trademark cheaper. And uh, the problem with that option is the same. It's easy to file your trademark application. A monkey can file your trademark application. The problem is in 68% of the cases, your trademark is gonna be refused. It's gonna get the initial rejection by the trademark's office. It's, go, it's called the office action where they list things they don't like about your trademark application and somebody needs to deal with that. Somebody needs to address it. Somebody needs to respond to it because if you don't respond to it on time, your trademark application dies. And so here's, again, here's how all law firms make money on trademarking. They don't make any money on filing your trademark. To them, it's just their foot in the door because they know that the real money comes from responding to office actions that the applications that they filed generated, right? It's kind of a crazy business model if you ask me. I don't think it's fair to business owners because really the law firm's interests are not aligned with the interest of the brand owner. What does the brand owner want? The brand owner wants to spend as little as possible and get their trademark registered as quickly as possible. What are the uh, law firm's interests? Their law firm's interests are to bill as many hours as humanly possible. How do you do that? Well, you do that by uh, filing an application that triggers an office action that you will spend hours and hours and hours responding to, all right? So 
that's where the money is. So don't be lured by low filing fees. If the law, if you find a law firm, they're going to say, well, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to file your trademark for, I don't know, $300, $500, $700. It doesn't really matter what the initial number is unless they can quote you the full price for the entire process from start to finish, no matter what happens in between, you have no idea how much the process is going to take. So be very careful with that. And what usually happens is that they will send you a, what they call schedule of fees. Sometimes it's one page, sometimes it's two pages, uh, listing all the things that could happen during the trademarking process. And the problem with most business owners, most brand owners is the assumption they make that most of the, most of those things are not going to happen during their process. Well, this couldn't be further from the truth because most of those things actually do happen. Most of those things will happen. All of those reporting of office actions, docketings, all of those things that you think are not necessary, you will be billed for them. So be very careful. And the other thing, of course, the problem with uh, law firms is that they would offer you uh, what they call an optional comprehensive trademark search. And they say, well, if you pay extra, We'll do a proper trademark search to make sure your trademark is uh, registrable uh, and uh, will, we will go beyond just the knockout search. Uh, would you like to pay an extra three, four hundred dollars for that? And again, they make it look as if it's totally unnecessary. It's optional. You, you, you can do this. Maybe it's a good idea. Would you like to pay an extra three, four hundred dollars? And most business owners say no. And when they do that, they assume the risk that if the trademark doesn't go through, the law firm says, well, we offered you the search. You said no, deal with it, right? Uh, and the, the third problem with that option, of course, is that if the trademark eventually doesn't go through, you're paying them by the hour, right? They're not selling you the result, they're selling you their time. So if they spend 27 hours Working on your trademark application, you're going to pay 27 hours times whatever their hourly rate is. Uh, and if at the end of the 27 hours, all you get is the final rejection, then you're going to get uh, a final email from the law firm saying it didn't go through. Here's the final bill. Please pay it. Uh, right. And uh, I really don't think that's the right way to do trademarking, which is why I created Trademark Factory. It's very different from every other company or every other law firm that deals with trademarks, that offers trademarking services. So I'm not going to go into detail. Let me just say that we offer a mandatory comprehensive trademark search as part of all of our packages. So you know exactly whether or not your brand is trademarkable before we move forward with your trademark application. And if we think that it's not trademarkable, you can get a full refund, all your money back. So you get a free search and all your money back. Uh, if it's trademarkable, then we go for the whole process. You pay one flat fee that covers everything from start to finish, from filing to registration, actually from the trademark search to you getting the framed trademark registration certificate in the mail. Uh, and we offer the 100% money back guarantee for all the trademarks that we told you are registrable. If in the end of the day, after we spend all this time uh, fighting with the trademarks office, if we still can't convince them to approve and register your mark, you get all your money back. That's what makes Trademark Factory unique. It's not free. It's the initial investment is probably more than you will get quoted by most companies out there. But again, remember, it's one flat fee that covers everything from start to finish, and it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're looking for a way to file your trademark, to trademark your name, to trademark your logo for free, not going to happen. If you're looking for a way to trademark your brand on the cheap, either do it yourself or go with those uh, uh, trademarking websites, again, uh, you assume all the risks of in the end of the day, getting a no, getting a rejection from the trademarks office. And if you're just doing it for fun, might be a good idea, right? You try it out, you see if it works. And if not, well, who cares? 
But if you really care about your brand, if you really care about your business, I wouldn't recommend taking that route. You may save a few hundred dollars, but in the end of the day, you're not going to get the brand or you're going to do it poorly. You're going to, it's so easy to file a trademark uh, and not do it right. So even if you get the registration, oftentimes when we look at the applications filed by self-represented brand owners, they file their trademarks and they don't list the goods and services that they actually need. So be very careful with that. And uh, by the way, if you feel that you've got something important, you've got a brand that you want to protect, go to trademarkfactory.com, book a free call with our strategy advisors. You get 45 minutes with our people, with live human who has uh, been on Trademark Factory team helping brand owners just like you figure out whether they need a trademark, when do they need a trademark, where they need a trademark, which trademarks you go for, whether it's a, a name or a logo or a tagline, get on the phone with them, talk to them, and see if we're the right fit to help you protect your brand. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do it now because there will be a lot more educational videos coming out soon. So if for whatever reason you think you want to file your trademark yourself, you will learn how to do it. Uh, and if not, again, we're here to help book that call with the strategy advisors. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.